my other business, it's called Infinite Partnership System. And it's, we teach people how to scale their companies. We teach a way that doesn't really have any risk or cost the person any money if they did it themselves. So here's um, the thing. So, and I realized this from how we scaled Authors Unite, but I didn't realize it while we were doing it. I realized it afterward, right? So in the beginning, I had tried like webinar funnels, all these different things. And don't get me wrong, Facebook ads, webinar funnels, all that stuff works. It's just, it wasn't working for me really. I don't know why, just maybe I wasn't doing it right or something. So it never worked for me at the level I wanted it to. So if you recall earlier in the interview, our core foundation of Authors Unite is book marketing. So that's where we started. And then we branched out to ghostwriting and all these other services. But book marketing there's a lot of book publishers out there and their expertise is book publishing. It's not marketing. They, most of them, in fact, I can't really name one that does like full blown marketing. They do offer some marketing support in some areas, but not everything, you know, the author still has to do stuff on their own. So how we scaled our company is we basically, one of the types of companies we reached out to is book publishers. And we reached out to every book publisher that speaks English, like in the world. And I, I'm not exaggerating. Like I told my team of virtual assistants, I was like, for the US, we went by every state and we looked like book publishers in Alabama. And then they reached out to every single book publisher in Alabama. And then they went all the way down and we reached out with a, a script. And then we, um, I have like 12 salespeople or biz dev people, I guess you call it. They get on the call and they just build relationship and a mutual beneficial referral partnership. And you can do that at scale. So now in like our CRM, I think we have like 30, 40,000 different partners. Obviously not all of them have referred, but like that we've contacted and have talked to for 20 minutes and established like, hey, in the future, we might be able to do something together. So either way, if you do this at scale, there's no risk, there's no ad spend and you build all these relationships and then you wake up every morning to referral. So now- that's the other business I run is we basically, there's a course and then we step in and run it for some companies where we are like, okay, let's identify your top partners and then let's reach out to all of them and build relationship and scale your company. Our top is ghostwriters, editors, book publishers, and PR agencies. So those are our top four partners because they work with a lot of authors. Now here's what's interesting is you can find others the more you do research. So recently we found actually political consultants and political consulting companies are literally one of our biggest partners just up with those top four that I said. And here's the reason is now in today's world, a lot of political consultants or consulting companies that help politicians uh, win races, they recommend two things. One is becoming an author and the other is becoming a, uh, starting a podcast, right? So, and I had no idea about this until recently, like a couple months ago. So now, now that we know that, and we're realizing that it's adding a lot of revenue to our company, we are reaching out to every political consultant and consulting company on LinkedIn, uh, in every state in the U S and building a relationship and it's growing. It's just a whole nother Avenue that opens up. So if I had a company and I was starting over, the first thing I would do is say, what am I offering? Who else offers a complimentary service? And how can I build relationships with them at scale where they can refer to us and we can refer to them? Best way to grow a business, in my opinion, and no risk. Do 